Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning in to this installment of the Autism Hangout feature program series, Apps for Autism. Thanks to Apple, the iPad, the iPhone, and the iTouch devices have become the primary means by which our special kids can tap into the incredible world of helpful apps that's out there. But for those of you working with PCs, today's guest has an option. Martin Vanderkoy has developed a robust Picto app with tens of thousands of images that can be used in English, Spanish, French, and Dutch. And where it was initially developed for the PC, it's also now available to those that have Apple products. So Autism Hangout, please welcome today's guest, Martin Vanderkoy. Welcome, Martin. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Now, like, to be there. like so many people that have developed these apps, you also have autism in your family. Can you tell us a little bit about that before we get into your product? Yeah, it's uh, our youngest son. I have three children, and the uh, youngest son has autism. Mm -hmm. um, well, he basically go to a normal school, but we had to a lot of visualize for him. Mm -hmm. He uh, we can tell things, and he understands it. But when we make pictures of it, and when we show it to him, mm -hmm. uh, it lends, uh, it works better. Excellent. Excellent. Well, tell us a little bit about your product. I know that it has tens of thousands of graphic images. Now, that's remarkable in itself. Yeah, well, um, basically, when I started, I was looking for a way to help my wife. She was creating, uh, using images from the internet, uh, searching them on the internet, mm -hmm. putting them together with uh, words and well, whenever you are creating something in Word with images and you want to resize things, uh, put something in between, you have a problem, mm -hmm. a big problem. Right. And, well, as a software developer, I couldn't stand that. <laughs> so, um, what I did first was creating an application, uh, putting all those images I could find together at one place mm -hmm. on my system. And make it searchable and then uh, making a way you can easily drag and drop those images around uh, to create your uh, visual. Excellent, excellent. And I know you've got a demo. Let's go to that demo now and show folks how it works. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're at the sign-in screen. Yeah, on the sign-in screen I can enter my name. It will remember of course uh, the users that have been logged in before and why I did this is because before for instance in a school you have multiple uh, uh, users. groups that's, and users yeah. and they can all make their own this is the picture selector screen the main screen here you can see the users and uh, you can just create a new picture sheet by using the new button then you have some place where you can add your information into and then you start off and you will first look into the images well for instance if when we want to learn our son uh, what he has to do when he's going to bed and to sleep uh, we wanted to create a visual for that mm -hmm. uh, well, you just started with some introduction well, uh, sleep because it's sleeping time well then you can just see that there are many images there and when I double click it's here mm -hmm. in this window then he has to go upstairs and we add that he has to um, brush his teeth yeah that's very fast uh, and, and lots and lots of images yeah, you can, it's updated lively. Uh, yeah. Then he has to go to the toilet. Um, yeah, just uh, a lot of images can be used also to tell things. Like for instance, um, when he, um, you don't want him to put his hands in the toilet. And that's one of the other things that is possible here. You're not just having these images, but you can also um, use them to tell them information because you don't want it, his hands in the toilet. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and there are many other things possible, like uh, text, photos, clock. Uh, it's also you, uh, a time timer. Mm -hmm. You can all add that to your visual mm -hmm. and uh, preview it to see how it looks like if you print it. For instance, uh, sleeping time, and you want it also in your visual. Mm -hmm. That's your title. Top of it, it's the title. Then you can just put it on. Yeah. And if you want it to have the images with uh, some subscript, you can also use that. You can also change well the size of those le uh, letters, etc. One of the nice features is here is that you can open. Uh, you can also use images. Well, let's say you have some. You are missing a symbol. Well, then you can just create your own. Mm -hmm. um, that same applies to the clock which you can change. You can also do other things with the clock, like changing it's the way it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, that, that cropping tool was very fast, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, and it will remember the images you have used before. Um, so it's, uh, it's very easy to find those uh, photos uh, again. That's excellent. What a great program. Now, where can people go to get more information about it and where can people go to buy it? You can go to the uh, um, PECS4ALL.com. Okay. And there you can just download it for your uh, the, the, the PC version. Mm -hmm. um, it's free including all those uh, 18,000 images. Wow. Uh, because the providers of those images also all, are also providing it for free. Very and, nice. Yeah. So I'm not making um, money of this program. That was very generous of you to develop for your family and then give it back to the community. That's very much appreciated. Martin, I want to thank you for coming on today and telling us about your program, and I want to thank you for what you do for our special kids. Yeah, it was great to uh, hear you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just so impressed by the whole roster of people out there that are making apps today, and, and you are just one of them that ranks right up there at the top. So I want to thank you again for what you do, and thank you, Autism Hangout. I appreciate you tuning in today. I'll be back again soon with another app for autism.